So this week's pack is alternative steakhouse breads. You might have heard of this idea of Cabernet Sauvignon, cab and a slab, meaning a slab of beef. Cabernet is one of the best grapes and people always think of it when they think of pairing with steakhouses. I kind of want to save you a little bit of money, I'm not going to lie. And Cabernet, you just really can't do that. So the idea behind this pack is that I would choose four big juicy red wines to go with your favorite cuts of beef. Um, I really I really love these wines, they're so good. Anyway, uh, the idea that I wanted to share with you first is that it's not that Cabernet and uh, steak goes well together, it's really the fat in a really good cut of beef and the tannins in a really big red wine such as Cabernet that really make a match made in heaven. And you know there's a lot of other things that have fat in them including olive oil, butter, cheese, so really, you can pair Cabernets or thick skin grapes like Cabernet with fatty foods, but you can also pair fatty foods with grapes like the four I have today. So let's get right into tasting, shall we? Our first wine is a Beaujolais. So Beaujolais is the region. It's the southernmost region in Burgundy, and the grape is Gamay. So Gamay is a grape that just reminds me of filet mignon. It's the texture of filet, meaning silky, but still uh, tender, and yet it has like a lot of um, subtle but intense flavors. It's a really, it's a really great grape. So um, this one is called Florent Descombe, and it's from a crew, which is basically one of ten uh, smaller regions within Beaujolais that are considered um, premier or higher quality than your just basic Beaujolais. So when you go to Steakhouse, I really want you to ask, do you guys have any Cru Beaujolais? Which is a really great tip. Or if you're in your retail store, ask for these things by name. Cru Beaujolais, the northernmost of which is called Saint Amour, which is this wine. And Saint Amour is said to be the romantic one of all the 10 Crus. It's the northernmost, it's the lightest, and it generally is the softest. Uh, with that said, it's still a, you know an intense red wine. It's perfect for a Steakhouse. So I get really this deep dark purple or opaque color and then I have all of this blackberry and blueberry and plums. But the fruit is also strawberry. Listen, I know I mentioned a lot of fruits but this wine is not about fruit. What makes this wine special is that it has this granite soil and you really taste this marked minerality in the wine just like smoky, as if you took that filet mignon and you just seared it on a grill. It's a perfect kind of bacon, a little bit, um, uh, even violets. And the tannin, I would say on this wine, it's about medium. So again, why it goes well with filet mignon. I know you haven't heard of Blaufrankisch, but bear with me. Blaufrankisch is the grape. Um, it's also called Lemberger. You probably didn't hear uh, of that just yet. But anyway, Blaufrankisch is a grape that is grown in Austria. It's also grown in Hungary, uh, Hungary rather, sorry, um, as well as Finger Lakes and in parts of uh, Washington State. So Blaufrankisch is a big red wine, and uh, in this case, it's from Middle Burgenland, which is a subregion of Austria on the border of Hungary, and it's um, from a producer that's been making wine for God knows how many generations but it's called Stren, and um, in this case, you can find Blaufrankisch to be like the crossover between the filet mignon wine and the porterhouse wine. This is more of like your New York strip style. So it has enough intensity and flavor and a, enough fat, but it's not either, you know, not tender and not too rich. Um, in this wine, I find like tons and tons and tons of pepper. It's basically like, bacon, pepper, au poivre sauce. If you like Northern Rhone Syrah, this is the perfect wine with probably a third of the price. So it's olive and pepper and, you know, just kind of like this gamey, almost um, bloody smell, which is pretty cool. So I think I chose these wines because all of them have this dusty, dark, earthy minerality. And this one is probably amongst them all of the finish, just like cracked pepper. It's really cool. 
Chateau Saint Martin de la Garrique. It's a red wine from a region called Coutu de Languedoc. So all of that means that it's from the south of France and it is a blend and you know we do find that blends are um, perfect for that in-between cut or that in-between crowd pleaser. Everybody loves them. So in this case it's a blend of the grape called Syrah, Grenache, another grape Morvedra and a grape called Carignan. And this wine is um, almost like the sappiest, juiciest, ripest Bordeaux you've ever had. So if you like Napa Valley Cabernet because you love that sun-drenched fruit, but you really like that earthiness that you get in a great Bordeaux or that kind of like animalistic, hedonistic kind of uh, earthy flavor, then you're gonna love this wine. It's the perfect balance between old world and new world. So again, you have this deep purple color. Overripe blackberries, cassis, kind of intensely smoky and I feel like I'm saying the same things but it's kind of cool because they all go so well with the steak. Um, really what you want is that charred almost black and blue flavor in your wine. Last but not least, and you should know that you can taste these wines in any order. Obviously you should have a dinner party with friends and like basically parrot my notes and tell them all about these wines so you'll be an expert in no time. Domaine de Theron. It's the fourth wine. It's a wine 100% Malbec grape. In this case, I know you know Argentina, and you probably have heard of the Malbec grape because it's one of the most asked for red grapes in my restaurants and wine bars, and in just in general, it's very popular, and thankfully, Argentina is what most people think is the home of Malbec. It's so popular, but I don't know if you realize that Malbec has uh, its roots, or it was originally a part of the Bordeaux family, and then also of the southwest part of France. In this case, it's a region called Cahors, and Cahors is in the southwest. Um, Malbec, in this instance, is like that rustic cousin to Bordeaux. So, this is the biggest of all of them. It's the deepest in color, the most purple. Um, definitely is for your ribeye steak. It has this sort of smoky, mineral-driven, earthy, funky, almost like bacon rat steak. It's really delicious. I hope you enjoy all these steakhouse wines. Let me know what your thoughts are on our Facebook page and or Instagram.